Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV Balloon mm -hmm. Basics. We are joined by Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me again. And uh, today, Dr. Bob is going to show us a technique called an apple twist. Now, you might remember, if you've been watching BMTV a while, I actually demonstrated an apple twist and a, fat, a while ago, a good while ago, and I actually made an apple out of an apple twist. Um, well, Dr. Bob is gonna show us that technique, talk us through it, but also tell us, well, how else you might use it. So Dr. Bob, over to you. Okay, right, we're gonna use a five inch balloon mm -hmm. for ease of demonstration. Now, we inflate our balloon. Yeah. Sometimes it's best to pre-stretch the balloon. Okay. So as you notice, I'm almost inflated to the end there. Okay, so that's overinflated now. Definitely overinflated. We wouldn't use a balloon like that, would no, we? No, definitely. Whoops, a daisy. So we just let the balloon down to yep. what size we want. Yeah. Tie a knot in the end. Yeah. So notice I got the knot on the end. I can pull it if I want to. Yeah. Got a straggly bit there, which okay. helps to push into the balloon. Squeeze. Push in. Yeah. And then I'm grabbing either side. Yeah. As you can notice inside there, I grab the knot, yeah. put my finger out, and twist one, two, three. So this demonstrates actually how durable balloons are. Yeah, yeah. To be does. able to manipulate them and, and put your finger in them and twist them and stuff, that's, that's great, okay. Um, I'm gonna use a black balloon here so we can see yeah. what I'm doing. And like we did with the, the bubble, we're just gonna, I'm gonna hold the balloon yeah. in my hand here. Yeah. Wrap it around three times uh -huh. and Basically, tie it gently there. And there we are, nice and firm. And now, I can either cut that off or I can use it to attach to something else. Something else. So what sort of things would you use this, this for? Well, I've used these for, for lots of different things. Wheels. Yeah. All okay, right. obviously yeah. you could do them a bit thinner. Yeah. You can use larger balloons as well. Um, I've used them for toadstools. Yeah. I've used them for bases to put balloons in, because obviously you can put a weight underneath. Of course. Bigger yeah, balloons yeah. you can put a weight inside beforehand. Yeah. Obviously you wouldn't use a clear balloon. No, you wouldn't. Okay, cool. So you've got some 11 inch balloons over there. Are yeah. you able to demonstrate one with an 11 inch balloon? I will indeed. We'll, we'll use the hand pump here. Just move this one out of the way. There we go. So, it's down, pre inflator. Tie a knot in the end again. Yeah. And as I said earlier on about attaching from both ends, if I tie, should I tie, I'll tie this on the end so yeah, you can actually it. see what I'm doing. So what we do, is tie that in the end, so it's nice okay. and firm. Then what I'm gonna do, squeeze the balloon, put my, finger behind there, whoops, here we are, push my finger inside, and what I'm going to do is push and pull at the same time, so now I've grabbed a knot in between my finger, Yeah. and I'm going to just push this away from me, and twist one, two, three, four, okay, and now I've got an attachment there, I'm going to use a different colour, so you see the opposite ends, and then exactly the same as we did earlier. Obviously, it's it is easier to do the the ribbon, yeah, the balloon where we push all the air out so there's no bubbles in it. Yeah. There we are, and there we are. Two attachments. That's great. You know, we could make this into a giant caterpillar. Yeah, yeah. Or we could use it as a column. Oh yeah, yeah. we've had Sue Bowler show us how to do caterpillars yeah. before using well, she small She does a beautiful ones. caterpillar. I think she was, was she using five inch? I think she was using five inch for that mm. and we did that, so that's great. So there you go. That is how you do an apple twist.